Hello and welcome to this video on X-Wings, also known as the Rectangle Rule. It's actually a 2x2 two two rectangle that forms an X pattern. Take a look at this grid. We see that all the candidates are filled in and in column 4, the 2 can only appear in rows A and C. But in column 7, the 2 also appears only in rows A and C. This creates a rectangle pattern where the corners of the rectangle all have one candidate in common, the 2. We can also identify an X pattern here, since if this is the 2 in row A, then this has to be the other 2 in column C. But if this is the 2 in row A, then this would be the other 2 in row C. And so this forms an X pattern, as you see here. Let's go through the logic of this pattern one more time, and then we'll see how to use it as a solving strategy. If this 2 in row A, column 4, is true, then this 2 in the same row, row A, column 7, can't be true. So the 2 in column 7 must therefore be in row C. So in this scenario, this is what the 2's would look like. However, if row A, column 4, is not a 2, then the 2 in the same row, column 7, must be true. And therefore, the 2 in column 4 must be in row C. And this forms the other wing of the X, which is why it's called an X wing. In either case, the true 2's will be at opposite ends of the X or opposite ends of the rectangle. All right. Now that we understand what the X-wing pattern looks like, how can we use it as a solving strategy? Well, if this 2 is true, then this 2 is also true. And if this 2 is true, then this 2 is also true. So either way, we have a 2 in row A and another 2 in row C, already spoken for. So there can't be another 2 in row A or row C. So now we can eliminate all the other 2 candidates in row A and all the other 2 candidates in row C. In this example, we found the matching candidates, the 2's, down the columns forming an X-wing or rectangle and then eliminated all the other 2's in those rows. This rule also applies when we find candidates across the rows we can then eliminate the penciled-in candidates down the columns. Here's an example of that. In this case, the number 4 forms the corners of the 2x2 two two rectangle. In row D, the only place a 4 can go is in either columns 3 or 6. And in row F, the only place a 4 can go is in either columns 3 or 6. So now we can eliminate all the 4s as candidates in column 3 and all the 4s as candidates in column 6. So, how do you spot this X-wing pattern? The trick is to look for a number that only appears twice in a line, either a row or a column, and then look to see if there's a corresponding row or column where that same number also appears twice. If the 4 cells form a rectangle, then you have an X-wing pattern, and you can eliminate all the other same numbers in the row or column. This pattern appears often and is a powerful tool for eliminating candidates. Keep doing Sudoku puzzles every day and you'll soon learn to recognize this pattern as you get more practice. I'll continue adding to the Solve Me episodes playlist and you'll see this and other strategies being used as I think out loud while solving. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I hope you learned something.